So there is another guy in free agency that the Eagles could go after. Okay, this is in connection to Joe Douglas when he was with the Baltimore Ravens. Now, Zadarius Smith is listed as a defensive end, but he plays both positions, D-tackle and defensive end. Okay, I want to go over some numbers. I don't really remember them too much, so I kind of want to just read these numbers to you. And, and he had a breakout year in 2018, okay, as a defensive end. 45 tackles, 25 QB hits, uh, eight and a half uh, sacks, a forced fumble, 60 pressures, um, and 20 stops. I mean, this guy, Wow. That screams pressure. I don't care about the sacks. The eight and a half sacks is fine, but all I care about is the pressures. And that's a lot of pressures. 25 QB hits, 45 tackles, 60 pressures. In his career, he has gotten 18 and a half sacks, 52 QB hits, and just 16 starts. I mean, eight, 18, just think of it. 18 and a half sacks, 52 QB hits, and, and <laughs> 16 starts. That's crazy. Um, he's only started about 58 games. Um, and, and the good thing is the Baltimore Ravens had it with injuries and stuff. They've moved him to defensive tackle and if he had to. Um, but that's awesome to for a guy to play defensive end and defensive tackle, just like Michael Bennett on the Philadelphia Eagles. Guy could play uh, defensive tackle, but he could play defensive end as well. And, and you know, there's always mismatches. Uh, so Darius Smith might get a little bit of a payday, but for a guy that's, you're paying not just for his numbers, but you're paying for how the you know how diverse he is on the field, D tackle, defensive end. You could put him anywhere you want, and that's what Jim Schwartz wants. Just like the secondary, corners with safety background, safety with corner background, safety with linebacker background, linebacker with safety. You know what I mean? It, it's it works so well. Um, this would be a very good pickup of one of many. So do I see us go getting, uh, you know, Darius Smith onto the Philadelphia Eagles in free agency? Well, they can get a nice jump, you know, a head start on it and see what he is looking for. He's got pretty good numbers for his career the past few years. So you really can't deny what he could do. He could do a lot. I think uh, I'm not really seeing any low ball flaws with Zadarius Smith at all. Um, but we'll see in the future what happens. You know, free agency is coming right around the corner. But these numbers, you cannot. You cannot. And and Joe Douglas has a lot of connections. Probably could help out um, and, and getting this guy on the squad. Uh, and this guy could be a pure starter. Um, as long as he gets pressures, it doesn't matter. Pressures is all I care about. You get pressure on the quarterback, you're doing your job. You're making the quarterback run. You're making the running back go a different direction. You're doing the right thing. That means you're going to make, someone else is going to make that play because of what you just did on the field and what you just did to get into the backfield. So it all is hand in hand. Um, so as Darius Smith, I think is on the radar for the Philadelphia Eagles and free agency. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of Zadarius Smith coming to the birds, if he's a good choice um, for either starter or rotational purposes. Um, depending on what he, he could be a mid-tier. He's going to be a mid-tier pay uh, pay grade. Uh, so it's not going to be, he's not going to be the highest paid, you know, defensive end in the world. But guy's got good numbers and they really don't lie. He's like, he's kind of like a Brandon Graham uh, a little bit because he's got those pressures. He's got... He's got pretty good sack numbers, but not the best, but they're pretty good sack numbers. Um, but the pressures is where he can get to the quarterback, and, and that's where his uh, his value is going to come in. So uh, let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about this. Shakes going up. Fly, I'll fly.